What's up guys, CPR Audits out here with Auditing America. We are at the Indiana Government Center. All right, so this is the Indiana Government Center. In downtown Indianapolis gonna hear to do a first amendment audit see if they respect the rights What's your name and badge number, sir? You have business here? I do. What does business it look like? Go conduct your business. Yeah, my, part of my business now is finding out who you are, who your supervisor is, right? Because you, 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 you're very unprofessional. You don't uh, walk up to people's face like that. Is there any capital unit that starts with South ECP? What's your supervisor's name? Clear. What's your supervisor's name, sir? Oh, now you don't want to talk, but you're at work. Seven six thirty nine. We'll get you back in. Clear. Why are you disrespectful like that, bro? Did I say anything to you? Obviously, the camera is the problem. Thank you, Joe. Can I buy the app? And you know what? That was great. You know what? There's a camera right there, right on top of us. That saw everything. They're going to see you walking up to my face. Thank you, Joe. Can I buy the start for the Medicare Bureau? If you're recording me, if you're recording me with your phone. Double line 2 0 2 3 8 6 12 in check. Once we fall. Better not record me with your personal phone because we can. You forget something? No, I'm not going to get that. I'm not going to get that. Okay. Those are not too good. You tried to record. I must have a bad bag. He's running over here. He should be running over here. Sit. How's it going, sir? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Outstanding. Could you get a copy of this video? I have a copy of my video. Your police officer over here walked, walked up to my face very aggressively without me saying a single word to him. Apparently the camera is the problem because he was asking about the camera. Um, how can I follow? I like his name because he also uh, uh, refused to identify himself while being armed. So, um, you would have to reach out to audio and get the footage. Okay, what's his name? His name is Charles Moore. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And I'm Shane Lamarts. Thank you, supervisor. Yeah. Are you his supervisor? I'm not. Who are you? I'm just an officer. Okay, can you call a supervisor? There's one right here. No, but you see, he's the one in trouble, so he can't investigate I'm himself. I'm in trouble. Because he's, he's borderline disorderly conduct. You see what I'm saying? You're supposed to be courteous and professional when you're a police officer. Especially if you have a gun, you can just. The citizens are automatically for you. Okay, well, you'll, you'll be back now. No, who's your supervisor? You Alright, who's the supervisor? Right. You have to contact me. Are you a supervisor here? No? Can I have a name please? Oh, I appreciate you for identifying him. He's very unprofessional. He shouldn't be working right here for the public. You see? There's footage right there. My footage is right here. I posted a video yesterday. It's got 499 videos. Alright. 
Center. This is the Indiana Government Center, downtown Indianapolis. Bicycle cop. Okay. So, mm -hmm. arresting my friend. Five hours later, charges must magically disappear. So, by the grace of God, my friend gets let loose after being kidnapped by a bully cop. You see, now that has over hundred. I haven't even made it home. That have, that has already a hundred thousand views. Yeah. Now, maybe you can let them know that today I am done. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. You guys are going to let this sink in, all the hundreds of thousands of views on the web, and it's all a learning lesson. You're a very nice guy, you too, I can tell by your approach, I asked you for your name, you're very nice. It's, we have a lot of people watching, you know, and it's our duty, we're trying to explain the citizens that it's our duty as American citizens to check up on the, on the government employees, check up on, on your government buildings, look, how, look what nice of a building this is, this costs millions of dollars to build. It's not unlimited funds. This is your money. So we need more people coming in peacefully, checking up on our employees, saying hello. You know, that's all we want to do. But I want to have people, like the gentleman over here, see the camera. And I don't know why, but they get very triggered with cameras, my friend. I don't know. I just want to be in show business, so I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so my channel is called Audit in America. I encourage you guys to go check it out. We have nothing but Indianapolis cop watching videos uploaded already the past week. We have like 20 more. So you guys are going to need a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth floor. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Take care. You too. You see? Nice. These gentlemen were courteous and professional. Mm -hmm. Very. He even That's how they all should be. I the other guy from He was sick. When he looked sick when yeah. he identified him for me. Uh -huh. So this is the Indiana Government Center in downtown Indianapolis, guys. For anybody that's curious. Indiana. Land of cornfields, guys. Land of the cornfields. That's, that's it. Interesting. goes to snitch. There she goes.
Well, your company, your Allied Universal, is not public. Yeah, your company's not public. Hello again. I'm sure you'll get called a lot. <laughs> okay, so so the reason I'm probably called over here is there was a procedure and a business going on during here. So it's fine. You want to stand in the doorway? Hey, I'm cool with that. You can't disrupt Actually, they, what they're doing. I'm not. I'm not even talking to them. They're talking to me. Okay. So it's an office. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> walk in here. I walked in here. Yeah, I asked you. What do you do? No, you so said, sir. No, 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 no. Because you walked in. Look, this is a private area. You just oh, can't walk through this door. Okay. Like I, I told you. Okay, for, forget all this. Forget all this. Just talk to me, all right? All right. Okay. You already said I was cool, okay. so I'm trying to be cool with you. All right, so let's cut the bullshit. This is the, the unemployment office, right? All right, I need unemployment services. What are you offering? Okay, okay, there's a procedure, so you gotta go around the back. So why you have a you what, why you have a welcoming door right here, wide open? Exit only. This is the exit. See, if you would have been looking at that when I was trying to tell oh. you what was going on. Okay, well is that like the scene? It said exit. Is that like a law? And when you look right here, you see it says exit past the security okay. desk. Okay, okay. That's All what right. I was telling you to go. Around. Okay, so which way but do I go? Come on, I'll go with you. Okay, I'll go to I'll go to the main the main entrance. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he said private and all this stuff. Oh, okay. Ah, it's, uh... oh, man, I didn't see that. Didn't see that. Awesome. So, and, and so, yeah, we can go into any office. You, you can go into any office. So, I know the Brandon Beeman spoke to you guys yesterday. Look, you can go into any office that's open and has so a general problem. area, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Cool, but then just don't. You're, you're not getting out of this, dude, in the shot. Yeah. Amateur, <laughs> man, come on. <laughs> no, he's, he's actually. He's cool. He's good. He's good. <laughs> Uh, so you guys just go in there, you want to talk to them, you know, probably not going to let you in unless you have official business, but did you know the recording is captured? All right, man. Thank you. Is this private? No, I don't want my image. Is what I'm telling you. Well, you're wearing a mask. I don't care what I'm wearing. You gotta, you gotta have to, uh, me for just a second. Uh, uh you gotta turn that camera off. I'm the cop just to... walked us in here. I don't care, but you can't have your uh, phones rolling. Look, Donna. Goodness. I'll be right back. I gotta go hit the uh, police officer. These people are recording. Take a picture of me as I'm talking. Montez. Let me get Montez. That's a good show, Montez Williams. Oh, that's Montez. Montez. Can I have your name and position here, ma'am? We need to ask you to leave. Oh, Why? Step, just step outside the door for a minute. Why? Just step outside the door. But I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm trying to get services. Yeah, I'm just telling you right now. Okay. This is a public office. It says follow this way, follow the line this way, please maintain this. Okay, so we're allowed. Can, can I go this way? Yes, you have to I'm going to come right now. Look, see guys, they even have pamphlets here. So I know these aren't for the workers. Can you tell us? Can now you tell us what services you provide, ma'am? I am in a meeting. Okay, sorry. Sorry to, sorry to interrupt, ma'am. Okay, they have the cameras. The cameras. You see, that's why we do what we do. That's why we have a, almost a hundred million combined views on the that's internet. Crazy. Yeah. These people don't know they work for us. They don't know. They say this is private. They say all the wrong yeah. things. We need retraining in our government, bro. That's why. Okay. That's why we're doing this. All right. So, so we're. I'm not. Have you talked to anybody? So they they storm away as soon as they see. The thing that matters. I don't want to be videotaping me while I'm talking to them. That's just. That's just wrong. Okay. Oh I, I, I can't. Can you tell us the first that? amendment. I can't have them stop that. So, it, but, but why? Uh, why? Because it's our what? It's your, it's your right. It's sure. my right, ma'am. So. So, but here's the thing though, if if you have legitimate business, so she's not giving me a chance. What? I saw, I saw, my, I, I saw myself being recorded. That's just ridiculous. I don't need to ask my permission. This is the government, man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to walk away. Well, you can walk away. That's fine. We'll get somebody else to, to take care of us. This is the Indiana Government Center, the somebody Workforce take care of us. Development. Can we have your name and position so that we can complain? I can I just heard him say, try to get them out. All right, so what's the plan? Well, we need somebody to take care of us. She doesn't, you need to call a new employee, I guess. Okay, so but what, from a distance, can you, what questions do you have or what, what do you want to know? Well, you're not, you're not for that department, sir. We need somebody that, that actually works in okay. this department. 
and that can actually help me. She's not doing it because of a camera. Although we have the First Amendment right. He said it, ma'am. We're not songs. breaking the law. Yeah, just what's... get back to work, ma'am. I'm just working what on the video. What services do you need? Let me ask you that. What services okay. do you need? Okay. What services do you provide? We have client representatives here in the office, and we have IBM help. Teresa, no more talking. You're going to say you see? something. You see? Okay. These people don't want to work. I get it. We're I, get gonna, it. Yeah, I get it too, but we need, we need the entire country and world to see what's going on here. This is tax dollars. Like I said, this is very, this lady gets paid up thousands a year. This one gets thousands a year, thousands a year, thousands a year. Come on, bro. This is, our, like I said, our money is not unlimited. So we need to check up on this. We don't have man. We have managers and supervisors saying the wrong thing. We have to document it. We're like a mystery shopper. Right. So, so, so we're not stopping. We, we have to you write. Yes, I am. Okay. Awesome. Could you explain to me what's going on? Why is the chaos over a camera? What chaos? Well, you have uh, uh, employees jumping over there over a camera, calling this gentleman over here. You cannot record what goes on here because people divulge personal information. Do you see? This is why we do what we do. Could you explain it to him? Okay, so we're standing right here just asking, and I understand what you're saying, so yeah. I'm not clear on, like, back there with people that are actually... Sir, he's wrong. Movies. Can you step? Can you tell him he's wrong? <laughs> I'm not wrong, incorrect. Sir. This we, is a public area, okay? This I, is a public area, okay. but people do divulge sir, sensitive it, information, which you cannot job, record. It's your job to secure that. And that's what we're doing. We'll secure it. Don't leave it standing around where the public can see. Leave it. what standing around? Any, Nothing is any, standing any, around. Any information? Don't leave it laying around. Do you see any information laying around? Okay, so stop complaining about having information, private information. If, if there's I'm not nothing. complaining. I'm just explaining the rules. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so, so bro, you're saying that I can't film, and I'm trying to conduct that's correct. business. I'm gonna speak to your. Where's your superior? Okay, so but here's the deal. You're not really conducting business. You're just I am. Here asking I'm, questions. How am I you don't even know what you're doing. I know, know what I'm, why you're here. I know what Other I'm than here. checking on. Okay, okay. This is an okay so why don't you sit right here since you want to help me so much. Yeah. Why don't you sit right here and find me a public records request form and then I want to find out your name, your name, and your name because we have the right to do that. So that's official business in this office. So I like a formal request. We need request. to take this out into the hall. You see what I'm talking about? No. Yes, no, no do. He, he doesn't own this. Space. You're not conducting this business. Is, this here. is you're, business. This is business, bro. You see, you're going, you're, you're, you were, you were okay. I'm school first. You, huh? you, you were, you were I'm cool checking first. out the pamphlets. All, you, so. all he has to do you can is give me the names and information or give me the proper paperwork so that I can officially request it. You guys are public employees. You can with You're our public, public relations manager, Sir. Bob Birch. Would you Sir. like his email? Are you aware that we have thousands and hundreds of thousands of people watching? All you have to do is provide your information, your name, your position, and we'll be on our way. Also, I can provide for you. Okay, so, give, so no, give, director. Me, give me your name. And I have your been directed only to name, provide sir. media with the media director. That's how they can't get in trouble. Me, so I need to know your name, and I need to complain on her. You know what? Don't give me your name. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put the phone number to this office right there in the middle of my video. Yesterday's video has a quarter million views, by the way. Also go to Auditing America with nearly a hundred million combined views. Go to Auditing America on TikTok with 20 million combined views. Okay? You guys don't know who you're messing with. This is this is our building. This is a public space. This is for people with so unemployment stop issues to come in. in. How are you being harassed? Because you guys you're, are like you're right here. You're interfering with my First Amendment right. You're interfering with my First Amendment. So, can I have your name so I can get going? Or we're going to do this the hard way? Sir, if you do not have any business, my business is finding office, out who's running this office. Out into the my business is finding out who's running this office. There's nobody making a line, right? We have I'm immediate inquiry anyone. we can I'm do. I'm not holding anyone. Just in case, for the record. If you are media, are you media? Am I media? This guy has no clue about the First Amendment. What's the First Amendment? Sir? Are you media? Yes, we are. Sir, okay. we're all we the have media. a media director. We don't need a media director. We're in a, we're in a public lobby. But our directives. I don't care about. I don't care about your policy. I don't care about that. It's the law. It doesn't matter what you. It's the law. You're right. It's the Constitution. So law trumps policy. Correct. If you had a if you had a sign that says you get a free kick if you come in the office. You are clearly not here with an unemployment issue. Here we are. We came in to ask questions and we can't get questions answered. What question do you have? We wanted to ask her, and then all this happened. So now, what is your I'm going to patiently sit here and read all of your pamphlets, because it's a public part, right? You didn't put these here for the employees, correct? 
These are here for or are the public. You, or are you oh, so they are here for the public. Okay. Yeah. And I'm part of the public, correct? Right. Okay. Have the pamphlets. Have right. The pamphlets. I don't have a time limit on how to get. I don't have a time limit on how long it takes me to get them and read them, correct? Well, I didn't you, say you did. All right then, and walk you have, away. You have until five o'clock. Right. I have a learning disability. It's going to take me a while to read this. Do you have to read it right here? Yes, I do. Why? Because I want to. This is the public because area. This is where they are. Right to, sir. We we have the right. And we to have a right to conduct business for other people who come right in right here. Now. You're, then why hasn't the cop removed this yet? Exactly, bro. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what the police officer is up to at this specific Right. Moment. So since you're not a police officer, then go away. You're, you're, up to, you're up to harassing us. Yeah, so if you're not... your name? Harassing you? Yeah, you are. You're just, you're borderline breaking the law. You're disturbing our peace. Borderline? Earlier it was breaking law. Which is it? Disturbing, disturbing the peace. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, get somebody with power. Please. What are you talking about? Get somebody that can get us out of the office. You said you weren't breaking any laws. Right. So okay. why are you still like right here? No, but I know he, he, he has to serve us. He has to serve us. You have guys. to serve us. You're a public servant. You have to serve us. Can you serve me with your name and her name and a number that I can So you can publish it on your website? Yeah. yeah. Why? You don't want to be held accountable, do, do you? Because, sir, you're, you're interfering with our rights. I believe you're harassing my staff. I believe oh, you're harassing me. Yes, you are. You want their names? You want their numbers? You want to publish it? employees. Right. Right. And they're here to serve if you the don't public your name, the right. unemployment you can, issues, which you clearly you do not have. You don't your name, you will work in a private organization, sir. Not for the public. So we have the right to request everybody's name, and not just in this office, you in can this do entire that. building. You can do that in formal writing. And also, it's your policy to, to say who you are, because it's in the handbook. Go back to it. Okay. So, hi, my name is John. My name what is What handbook Josh. are you referring How to? How can I help you? Huh? Which handbook are you referring to? You said it's in the handbook. It's in the employee policy handbook, yes. Which handbook? Well, look it up because you have, obviously you haven't read it. It sounds like you're making it up or you don't oh, know I'm which making, manual sounds, you're referring oh, you think, to. You really think that working for the public, we're, we don't have the right to know who you are. You are an idiot. I did not say that. So why are you not making it up? I'm, I'm to, we're talking about your name. Tell me your name. It's in the rules. You have to identify yourself. It's in, it's in his rules. He has to identify himself. That's why he's wearing a name tag, okay? You work for the same people, okay? You work for the same people. So, please, just tell me your name so I can file a complaint, the biggest one in history, and I'll be on my way. You see, your ego, bro. He doesn't know, he doesn't know. Okay, so, so somebody's gonna come help us. Okay, so, but here, here's the deal, too. I get it. You want to stay in your videotape? Hey, yeah, you know, I, just, I got to prove a point. I, I, I get you. I, I know that's what you're doing. But we also can't be really loud because we're conducting business. So that's when we start becoming a disturbance. All right, we're not going to talk then. No, no, no. Bro, what do you mean we're not going to talk? It's I'm the just... First Amendment. <laughs> Listen, sir. You can talk, but it's, it's freedom loud. of speech. It's freedom of speech, sir. It's crazy. Okay. They're trying everything they, to get they, us they out of are public office. They're disturbance by calling the police, by denying services. They are. Why would you, why would you lean that towards us? If we're, we're, we're not doing anything wrong, well, have, no other have I disrespected it? Have, I do. No. I have a reason to be here. I have multiple reasons, official reasons to be here. I am requesting information from this office, and also I'm working on a video that, that is official business. The IRS recognizes me as a journalist. Thank you. So, guys, I encourage everybody to go to Auditing America. We're waiting on the supervisor to come back and tell hey, us his name. Uh, <laughs> hey, subscribe to my channel. You're going to love it, bro. You're going to see yourself. Say hi. <laughs> I know, I know. You have hard work. Thank you for your hard work, sir. We love good, courteous, professional police officers. So guys, this is the government, the Indiana Government Center in downtown Indianapolis. This is the workforce, the unemployment office in here. 
that's the receptionist right there. If you guys want to call, complain, let them know how unprofessional they are. Uh, I don't wear Friday night glasses. <laughs> somebody to identify the, the, the supervisor for this facility for this office right here for me that's all I, I want. would like for you to leave I would like for you to leave can we ask for yeah. we no. got some more leadership no. coming oh you so we, we got some more leadership could you explain to him that I am I have, you see you would never talk about what's right you would never educate educate him bro educate educate well he wants me to leave we're in a public place for public serving work for me Shut the hell up. You don't know what you're talking about, bro. I serve uh, 14 here. Bro, educate. You see, you, you're like, so you let, you let him live confused. Why? Because you're getting more educated because he's here. So I'm just he, trying he to. He wants me to hit him. He wants you to grab me. So I I, every time I hear a snitch in front of my face, it aggravates me, bro. It makes me want to, ah, I don't know. Be more peaceful than ever. It makes me want to be more peaceful than ever. And there's the supervisor, guys. A little midget. Are you done harassing us yet? Not done. I'm still reading. You're not done harassing us yet? I'm not harassing. I'm reading. You are. You just called names for no reason. A midget? Do you have little man syndrome? Is that why you're getting upset? Are you here specifically to provoke? No, specifically no, I was here to get I'm help. I'm here to find out your name and then be on my way. That doesn't sound like what you're here for. That's okay. what I'm here for right now. Forget about everything else. I just want to complain on you. Okay, but you need to leave now since so you're what's clearly your... not here for so any unemployment reason. So what's your name? All I need is your reason. name so I can leave. What's your name? My name? Yeah, that's all I want. My name is, you need to leave right now. Or what? Okay. My, my name is, get or me out of here. escort you out of here. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Is oh. it going to be you? It's not gonna be you. You don't look physically intimidating, that's for sure. Ah, so there it is. No, I'm asking, you're the one uh, trying to impose your will, right? So it's not you... my will, it's the it's the policy of the We don't agency. follow policy, what do we follow? Clearly now? you do not. The Constitution and the laws. That's right. Ah, so you work So here. you're gonna you stop public here. who come in here and harass them as well? Wait, you gonna cry now? There's no public that's been behind us at all. These guys yep. are gonna cry. They're not going to come in here while you guys are doing this. Because so, they just magically know that we're in here. They bro, have to walk to the door to see bro, us, right? You just got a million views combined last week. Idiot. Oh, wow. You're, 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 making, you're making yourself look really bad in this office. I'm making myself look bad. Yeah, you're well, the one who comes in here calling people names. What did I, what did I call you? Space. What did I call you? Let's see. There was idiot. Yeah, was there after, midget? Yeah, after what you called the police on me. I didn't call the police. They oh. came down here. Oh, they came down here magically, right? They work here. Yeah, magically. They showed up. Yeah, magically. And then you said, please get him out, please. That's right. not at all what anyone has yeah. said. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. basically. This is the supervisor, guys. Basically, you don't want to even identify yourself. No wonder your employees over here are all lost. They don't know that we are the bosses. They're not lost. They're waiting for actual so public call, to come in here. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. Supervisor. What is and, your and, issue and with unemployment waiting, that you come here to ask about? We are waiting for actual employees who do their job. So why don't you just quit your job and go home since you think you, you know it all. Does anyone come to your place of business and harass you in this manner? This is my place of business. Where? You're coming, you're coming to our place of business, okay? Where is your workplace of business? This is my place of business right now. This is? Yes, sir. Is going into public offices, harassing staff, harassing. trying to look big on if the I internet. Was, if I was harassing you, I'd be in handcuffs. You see? I'm, why I'm, would you I'm, be in handcuffs? Because that's a crime. That's actually disorderly conduct. I'm not harassing you. I'm asking right. for your name so I could get going and complain on you. Why do you need a name? Because they can complain so on you. Can complain on you, bro. That's how it works. You have a million fans. You're complaining right now. But yeah, I, but they wouldn't be able to call fans. to say your name. You and just complain. said you did. I have, we have we have millions of combined. You got a lot views. of stories going on here. We have millions of combined views, sir. Right. 
Look this up, auditing America. Uh oh, it's his boss saying, hey, yeah. guess what? They're allowed to be there. There's a lot of activities they can do. You will be surprised how many people are gonna see this. Auditing America, A-U-D-I-T-I-N-G, America. Find us <laughs> Do you not get a good phone call? Yeah, he didn't get a good phone call, guys. He got told to leave us alone. Aww. Morning. Nice to see you again. All right, how are you? Good morning to you. Doing good. I don't know. Who are you talking about? He's the supervisor, supervisor we around the corner. Members, everybody started jumping like, like. Okay, well that's all right. Kangaroo. So I'm not quite sure who. who right hit him. Who are you we talking need, about? His name. That's it. Who are you talking about? This gentleman over here. Hi. How are you? Good. So they're asking. I guess, uh, I, uh, I am. Okay. Yes. I would imagine you guys are just like us. They want to end up knowing your first name. You just tell them your first name. Okay, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Okay. That's it. Simple, isn't it, guys? It took okay. you 19 minutes to tell us your name, bro. Have a good day. Well, that's a respect an right. officer. Well, you respect an officer. Thank you, sir. You? Okay. You're all good. Um, yes, but we do have the right to stand right here to film and ask a question, correct? You, you can film, but once you end up, just like the, this. The biggest complaint on you, Michael. We just can't walk past this, right? Because well, these are the lobby, because these are the When you come into an office, mm -hmm. right? Whatever business you want, if you want to ask a question or whatever and it is, they, is like they, a film. they help you, mm -hmm. they answer the questions, and then they got to push on what they're working Right, but I just, wanted, I just want you to say that we can film the question. You can film from here. Yep, absolutely. From outside? 
in the whole Well, they have a right to come into the office, they ask a question, or whatever they want business. If it's an appointment like yesterday, they wanted appointments and stuff. Once you serve their question, as far as that goes, then you got to push on with work. I mean, right. you go from there, you got mailboxes and you got workspace. Does that? Thank you. So see that once you're, it once took you're 38 done, minutes, once you're done, done with it, then it's, it's a moot point. Okay. Right. After right. that, they got to get on with their business. Right. But yes, you have, like I said, you have a right to come in just like Joe public. If you have your camera, mm -hmm. no worries. Sir. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, now I'm going to leave. All right. That's thanks. all I wanted. Very much. Thank you, Michael. Uh, yes, thank you. And like I was explaining, okay, you have this guy, you see, he's in the lobby, <laughs> in the work, he the, don't have to wear a mask if he doesn't want. It. Right. But you, if you go inside the offices, you have to. Okay. Yep. Great. Thank you. And if, if you remember, if you need me or whatever, mm -hmm. just, just call me. Ask this guy. What was your name again? Lieutenant Beeman. Lieutenant Beeman. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Beeman. Sorry. Beeman. Thank you. That's all right. So if you need, just call me. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. When should I tell my mom to watch this? <laughs> Auditing America. <laughs> probably, yeah, probably tomorrow. But they'll like you. Awesome. Good, good. Yeah. All right. Remember, All right. if you need, just call me. Or All right. Just ask a office. Let me, let me, get, let me get your... Uh, Lieutenant Beam. Your personal phone number, so I can call you. Uh, <laughs> oh, you <laughs> like that? <laughs> you and All right, hey guys. Mm -hmm. Like I said, if you need something or whatever question, mm -hmm. don't remember. Okay, you can't. Thank you. you. Can't turn a mask refusal into trespassing. Remember, we talked yesterday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, so you agree with Joe Biden? No. I don't take my mask out for policy. Okay, okay, that's good. I respect, I respect that because you know what? You're at work. And if you're at work, you have to follow policy. I would rather have you guys work more comfortable without something bothering your ears. I would love to, to for you to be able to work more comfortable. Me too. Me too. It's not fair. It's not fair to all wear a uh, cloth over your face. This is America. Especially if they're forcing you guys to wear something over your face. It's totally against our free rights. It's totally against what you need to wear. So that is the Constitution. Thank you. Protecting our rights and all that stuff. Oh, and by oh, wearing a mask. You can't do that. But it, it would sound better if you tell me, I wear a mask and choose to start. And then I'm like, okay, we'll share it. He was actually talking about him before we even came in here. Uh -huh. Mr. America does what he does, guys. That's, that's why, why I do. That's why CPR Audits does what he does, and that's why Fake Mike, Real News, does what he does. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Again, this was the Indiana Government Center in downtown Indianapolis. And that was the 
um, workforce development office, the unemployment office. Um, see you on the next one.